it's Jessie V and today I'm here with my sister Mandy and she hasn't been in a video in a long long, a long time. time guys if you want me request me okay so that she can come up with things that I can be involved in and fall is coming autumn Halloween the Halloween stores open September 1st I am there we got a film going to all those creepy Halloween stores yeah let's do it vlogs just like last time vlogs there's gonna be a lot of Halloween videos coming up so Mandy I'm so so excited. She's ready. <laughs> bring on the fall. Bring on the fall. Bring on the fall. Bring on the fall. Bring on the Halloween. Bring on the scary. I love how it's like August still and we're talking oh, about Halloween. I am ready. Anyways, today we are going to tell you guys some scary stories that have to do with our attic in this current house right now. Thank God we are the furthest away from it right now. Yeah, we're in the basement to right be now. Honest. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you record down here. I tell them all the time. How do I, I know, feel? I, I see. Stuff? I watch every time you do like a scary video, you're always He's like in the basement. I'm like, why? Out and I laugh because I'm like, I could never do that. So Mandy and I have both experienced something weird in our attic. So I think one at a time, we're going to talk about what we experienced and uh, we'll go from there because we both, and it's so weird because we didn't know the other one experienced the same thing, but we did. Stop. Stop. We didn't know the other one experienced the same thing, but we did. Stop. Stop. It's the same thing, but we did. Stop. The lights just flickered if right the, when I talked about the attic. I, I'm, I'm so actually scared. scared right now. Like, I wonder okay, if the camera if caught the it. If the lights go off, don't run. We'll just hold we'll each hold other. We'll hold each other and we'll go slowly. The minute I can talked just... about the attic ghost, the lights just flickered. <laughs> Why me? Like, if the lights actually go out, though, can, let's just hold each other. Let's let's continue with the story. That was weird. That was really messed up. Okay, anyway. So, I'll start with my side of the story. So, when was it? I think, like, three years ago it started. And I'd be in my bedroom and literally around midnight to one o'clock I'd start hearing scratching on the walls like inside of the walls it was so strange and scratching was so loud that it couldn't have been from an animal it was literally as if someone was just scratching the walls from the inside but then it would slowly go up on the top of the ceiling so like where the attic was and it was so strange every single night the scratching would happen and I remember asking you about it and you said you heard the same scratching in the wall too right yeah and then we would tell we would tell my dad all the time and he would be like oh it's probably just an, like a mouse or something, yeah. you know? He wouldn't believe us. He'd be like, oh, it's an animal. And the strangest thing is one time we were in Mandy's room and the scratching was so bad and we were like, dad. I cried. Yeah, she was crying. And I was like, dad, run in the room now. So he runs in. The minute he steps in her room, it stops. Oh. That incident was probably a year ago. Oh. It was just weird because every time we told our parents, the scratching would stop completely. Yeah. So tell them about that weird thing you heard in the attic. Uh, In the middle of the night? Yeah. I literally heard. And all I can think of is the grudge. Whenever, <laughs> if you think think of like the movie The Grudge like that's what I think about because I heard as if someone was on their hands and knees crawling as fast as they could from one spot of the house to the next spot literally here's my parents room here's my room and it was like like right across the whole entire house like in the attic it was not a raccoon it was not a squirrel it was a big thing crawling and making a lot of damn noise it started from their room the entrance to the attic is in, is their, room. in their room it's in their closet. It's so crazy. It's in their closet. It's in their closet. But what's weird is that what you heard was like as heavy as a human, right? That's so, what I'm saying. If it was an animal, it must have been a big animal. <gasps> so we literally have scratching in the walls, running around in the ceiling or crawling in the ceiling. I don't even know. And then one night, I remember I was in mom's bedroom sleeping. She wasn't in there. I don't know what she was doing, but I was the only one. And the entrance to the attic is in the closet, like I said. And there was this one night that I was lying there and I could hear sounds almost of like it opening or like some sort of something messing around with the door of the attic I was thinking like if something comes out of that attic and opens the door right now because like my mind just kind of goes to all the creepiest right. things yeah, you can think same. of and the worst was when she left the closet door open and it was dark in there I just could I don't like her closet uh... at all and another creepy story is one time Kyle was over and we were watching movies in my room and we were the only ones in the house and it was probably like 10 p.m. and we start hearing this really really eerie music but it was like humming it was like people were humming stop, all together in a group stop and the worst thing was I thought maybe it was in my head so I turned to Kyle and before I even say anything he goes who's playing music and oh I was God, like stop I was like I have no idea Kyle so we walked around the house I'm like maybe Mandy kept her music on or something nothing was on and it was this weird humming as if it was like a choir but like a really eerie Ew. I can't even explain it to you but when Kyle comes over tomorrow ask him he'll remember 
It was the weirdest thing. So there's something in our house and it's like in the attic and I don't know, Mandy. I didn't tell you about this. I had a dream that I met a ghost in the house and I woke up feeling like it wasn't a dream. Like it was a dream, but it was like real. It was a girl and she looked like just like a normal girl and she was really pale and whatever. And I didn't know she was a ghost at first, but she had walked up the driveway and walked up to the front door and I opened the front door. Eventually I asked her, I was like, are you a like, spirit? And she just smiled at me. She said she was looking for something. That was really bizarre. Like I was woke up thinking like that has to mean something. And we've had so much paranormal stuff yeah. happen in this house since we've been here. And it's, we don't even know how to explain it. Right. It's just the scariest thing is like when you can hear it and you can't see it. So like the attic, the walls, the humming. Remember that one time I got home from school and I was the only one in the house and I was sitting in the kitchen and I started hearing as if someone was just walking around upstairs, just normally walking around. So I texted Mandy and I'm like, oh, are you home? Like, I didn't know you were home. And she texted me back, no, I'm still like at school or at work or something. And my heart just sank because I heard walking upstairs and it just stopped right after I texted and her. Scares me. But like just an example to show you guys how like paranormal stuff happens all the time. So we just sat down here to talk about our paranormal experiences and the lights flicker right as we're talking about it. Like I don't know how you're gonna do this by yourself. It's anymore. the subtle signs in this house that just tell you that they're communicating somehow. Like the lights. That's the most common ghost thing to communicate through. But anyways, we just wanted to tell you those stories and I just wanted to get Mandy in a video for once. Man, I have a lot of stuff to tell you. Well, we'll do more story times together. We need to do more story times yeah. we need to do some challenge videos anyways i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day i'm and sorry that i look like a dumpster you don't because look at my hair though i love how i'm trying to close the video I'm and so she's sorry. still talking i just have so much to say <laughs> okay well have an awesome day guys hope we didn't scare you too much and uh yeah sleep well tonight Woo! bye <laughs>